Hi there, this is Omega Supreme here with a Transformers review of Combiner Wars Predacus. So this is from BotCon 2016. This is the main set that came with it. Uh, this I didn't attend BotCon, so I had to wait for this to arrive. This arrived a couple of days back. So I've just had a look at it. I haven't fully combined them yet, so we'll be able to do that um, on camera. So you've got the normal collector's box with the uh, really nice artwork on the front here. Um, Predicus uh, is uh, kind of a homage to uh, Tri Predicus from the combiner from Beast Wars, which was uh, three robots, which was uh, Ramhorn, Cicadacon, and C Clamp. Um, and now we're in Combiner Wars, they're adding also Tarantulas and Ravage to the mix, which we're obviously in Beast Wars as well. You see at the top there, there's um, Pterosaur, which was the free figure. Um, that figure is also going to be available um, from the Collector's Club. Uh, not the Collector's Club, sorry. Um, from the Rollout Roll Call convention as well, um, which um, are definitely going to be uh, attending. So I thought I'd let you guys uh, know about that as well. So we've got that. Um, and on the side here, it's a kind of proper wooden kind of cardboard box. Um, it's kind of quite quite tough. Um, and then you've got the pictures of them all down here. On the back here, this is solid. On the side here, you've got all of the people that contributed to it. And then inside, they're all kind of in here and you get a special pin badge with it. All of the weapons and things were stored underneath. Um, one of the weapons was in a separate bag. So if you do order this, um, make sure you pick that one up. The combiner piece for Ravage is loose in there because I think when they initially packaged all of these up, they missed it out of the thing. So it had to be added in afterwards. Uh, so that's in a separate bag outside of this so just be aware of that um, also as well as is that so I'll probably just leave that in the background there here and uh, there we go. as well as that um, you get the comic book so we've got this the convention one Dawn of the Predicus so that's a, a decent read it features all of the ones that were in uh, you know that you could buy in there so you've got Megatron, Air Razor, Tigertron, um, Prowler, Ironhide, all those guys you can see them on the front there as well. You do then also get this uh, certificate of authenticity as well that comes in this little folder and you get instructions for each of the figures which come in little bags and all of these tech specs. So I'll just go through them all and so you can have a look at them all. So there's Ramhorn there. So again, all of these have got great artwork. Uh, you've got this technical data there. So tens, all of these got tens of quite a few things. You've got 10 for strength, rank and courage. There's his little bio there. Uh, next up, we've got Cicadacon. There you go. And uh, this guy's got 10 for rank and skill. Uh, next you've got General C Clamp. There you go. 10 for rank. There you go. Next up you've got Tarantulas, or Predicon Tarantulas. Here, and some more 10s in there as well for intelligence and skill. They are interesting read going through these as well. So it's well worth having a little look through. And next up you've got Ravage. A 10 for skill. There you go. So you've got him. And then you've got the figures themselves. So I'll bring in the these two first of all. So we've got uh, Ravage here. So this is him in a vehicle mode. I might move this out of the way so you can see the figures a little bit better. 
So let's bring this down a little, little touch. Yeah, so you've got him in his vehicle mode, so repaint of breakdown. Um, this was also used for Tigertron, so he's got Decepticon symbol here, Predacon symbol on the side here, which is in red. And, and then you've got his, his front lights are painted, uh, not on the back there, so just black with these bits painted in here. And this combiner piece here as well, and his uh, weapon here as well. So you've got all the bits and pieces for him in vehicle mode. Nice vehicle mode, Rolls, wheels roll nicely. Um, I thought they may have put like a stick on the front there, but that's absolutely fine as it is. So I'll pop him to one side. Uh, next up we've got Tarantulas. So this one's a repaint of the Rook mold with obviously a new head sculpt. So they've used the kind of original Tarantulas colors. And uh, it's quite cool because these bits kind of look like eyes for the spider. Uh, you've got the Predacon symbol on the side here, and then on here, you've got the combiner piece which you can plug on there, or we can turn it around and plug it on any of these ports on here as well. And this piece here can also peg onto the front like that. And even the, the kind of hubcaps alloys have been painted here as well, red. Uh, so it kind of incorporates all of the original Tarantulas colours. Very cool. We've got that one here. Uh, next up, let's have a look at Ramhorn. So I've got him like that, but actually I think the 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 actual way he's supposed to come is supposed to be this other way, like that. So he's supposed to be like that, but um, it's entirely up to you how you prefer to have him. The only thing I don't like with that is you've got all this open on this side, but uh, that's how he's supposed to come anyway. And that's how he's pictured on the uh, box art as well. But you could switch it around if you want to and just uh, pop that little bit in there if you wanted to. So just to give you an option there. So that's a uh, ramp horn. Um, next up, we've got uh, Cicadacon. So um, I forgot to mention, you've got your combiner piece here thingy so you can actually plug that on the top there so you've got an extra gun on there if you want to or you could even plug it onto the side there if you wanted to okay so just get that one uh, cicada con uh, so repaint of the kind of air raid mold not air raid skydive sorry um, love these all these bits on here as well You've got the Predacon logos on here and this kind of bug-like um, kind of mesh that's on his wings here as well. It comes through here and here. Um, very nicely painted and there's a lot of silver that comes through which shows up in robot mode. He does also come with his own gun and his combiner piece here, which in red. You notice the other ones are in black. Also on this one, I forgot to mention all the uh, paintwork that's done on here. You've got these kind of lightning strikes going down either side and the Predacon symbols on here. Obviously the cabs all painted and even these kind of kind of metal piping going through here as well. And all of this bit's painted in as well. So just thought I'd point that out as well. And then you've got C clamp it is a repaint of um what's his name? Uh one of the Technobots, the leader, I can't remember his name now. Um It'll come to me. Um, so we've scattered shot, that's it. Uh, so here he's in his vehicle mode. Uh, pretty much a straight repaint apart from the the head mold on him. Like what they've done with the colour scheme, uh, fairly straightforward, but you've got Nick Connor got these kind of stripes coming through. It makes him look a bit more kind of beasty. Uh, all of these boosters are painted as in the top of here as well. Gun on the front's painted and the cockpit's done really nicely as well. And then you've got this gun which is kind of done in a gunmetal grey uh, which is pegged down to the bottom here. Now they're fairly easy to transform so what I'll do is I'll skip that bit and just have a look at them straight into their robot mode. So let's right, get them all transformed. I'll just show you these two first of all. So we start with the Ravage, do it in the same order. So um, here he is in his kind of robot um, mode here. Um, you can see obviously the same 
head sculpt um, that used for Tigertron. Originally it was used for this and then used it again for uh, Tigertron. So it does have the same thing where you've got nothing at the back here. Um, but I think actually it looks better on Ravage, I think. Um, I really like the colour that they've used on this, you know, basically uh, flat uh, matte black with this kind of grey sort of plastic that they've used in here. These bits are painted the same colour as well. Um, it's got like a little silver tip just at the top of his head there with his eyes pit red and his mouth silver as well. Looks pretty cool. And that same colour has also come through onto his blade as well, which looks really nice. Um, articulation exactly the same as the other uh, combiner wars figures. So you've got all this on the ball joint here, uh, bends here, uh, head can go all the way around. Everything's all exactly the same. He's nice and uh, nice figure to to pose. I think he looks pretty cool like that. Obviously, you wouldn't want him with the, the back bit showing. You can also then plug his gun at the back if you want to as well, like that, just to give him a bit more heft to the back. If you do do that, you do have to try and make sure you kind of balance him properly, um, just because he's carrying that little bit extra weight on the back there. Um, and then if we have a look at uh, Tarantulas, so really cool head sculpt on this one here. Have a look at that. Brilliant, the colours that they've used on their detail on there. I really like that. Big fan of that. Um, and he just looks like a, you know, a really good tarantula. Um, you wouldn't think this mould would suit him, being he's quite bulky and, and big, but it really does the way that they've used the colours on here. Um, and, you know, again, these bits here, kind of the green bits coming through and the kind of purple and everything else just comes together really nicely. Um, top paint job on, on this one. And again, with the gun here, you can pop it in like that if you want to. So he's got a giant hand. You peg it on the side here or you can peg it on the back. So he's holding it like that. So you can just see the little bits come out of the top there. Um, and then as long as you kind of lean him right, he'll be able to hold up right. And obviously he's got this bit that plugs into the side there as well. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, take that off and pop it on the sides there as well, if you really want to. So that's uh, Tarantulas. Um, I'm impressed with all these figures, really. I've been waiting for them a long time, so excited to finally get them and get them all together as well combined so i'm going to put those to the side there and we're going to have a look at the others and then we'll see them all together so we'll have a look at ram horn again so brand new head sculpt for this one uh, lots of paint on here all the all through down here on his legs his hands all on the um kind of crotch piece here and on the torso here this is all painted and the face is all red with kind of painted eyes and a new head sculpt because he's kind of got, got these kind of like bat ears a bit like how you saw in the Beast Wars cartoon and he's got this kind of drill gun thing here as well. The um, QC issues that you did have with uh, Brawl are still there they're not as bad though I think he holds together a little bit better um, but it still is a little bit loose um, but hopefully they get that picked up for the um, Technobots, Needle Nose, whatever his name is. So there you go, that's this guy here. I'm pretty impressed with him. Pop him to one side and next have a look at uh, Cicadacon. Uh, now this guy doesn't have a new head sculpt. So they've used an existing head sculpt for this guy. And you can see why, you know, it does kind of go with the, go with the character. Um, looks really cool. Again, it's all one color. It's all um, red plastic. It's kind of burgundy, I guess, with the eyes painted in yellow, and they are painted really well, actually. Look at that. And then, again, lots of paint detailing, so lots of silver used on the round here, on the front. Um, you've got this gunmetal grey and silver on the hands. This is all painted silver, as are the feet. Um, and you even got these kind of missile things all painted on the side here, which, you know, they didn't really need to do, but still impressed with it. So that's him there, pop him to the side, and he's got his gun in his hand. 
And then you've got C clamp. So he's the Voyager out of the out of the group. He's a little bit larger. Um kind of quite funky head sculpt, quite scary actually. Um this is all painted um rather than being uh, like the others, you know, uh, just set in that plastic with the eyes painted yellow as the other ones and his mouth kind of done in silver. Now, when transforming, you do need to be careful about tucking away the head. I found if you fold it that way, it does get stuck coming back out and same with the other way around. So the way that I've done it is I've just put it around, done it halfway in like that, turned it halfway and it's you don't tend to get any clearance issues then. So just be careful with that head. If you do feel that it's a bit too tight, pull this bit out here and then kind of kind of turn it around inside and give it a little bit of a wiggle. Um, again with this one, this one's actually got the Predacon symbol showing on the front, whereas the other ones don't really have the Predacon symbol showing in the robot mode. Uh, not so much uh, paint on this guy. Um, obviously you've got the gun metal in other places. The other places uh, it's used um, as an actual um, plastic. Um, so these are gunmetal grey plastic. Um, he does have grey uh, silver paint on these bits here and down the side here. And these bits here which are for combined mode as well. And these little side pieces here painted as well. But uh, pretty cool, you know, uh, with the new head sculpt he does look like a completely new character. Even if he is a little bit on the scary side. So that's those three there. And pop them to the side there. Into the back there, and then we we'll bring in the other ones here. So the way it works, you've got your Tripedicus Council, and uh, these two are kind of like secret agents, um, kind of helping them out with their agenda, as it were. I'm trying to get them all set without knocking any of the others over. There you go, so then you've got a picture of them all together, looking uh, pretty cool. Uh, what I'm going to do now, get them all combined and we'll have a look at Predacus in his combined form. Right, uh, we've got them all combined and uh, yeah, I think he's brilliant. Um, the head sculpt on him's excellent, very reminiscent of the original uh, fear, figure. Sorry, uh, He's even got this little bit that drops down like the original one did because of the transformation. The colours that I've used uh, are really nice. You've got your little Predacon symbol on the front front there that joins up. Obviously, you can mix and match them however you'd like. Uh, the way I've done it is just sh as it shows on the on the box art. So with the red feet there and the black hands, but obviously you can switch either these hands, the combiner pieces around, or actual the actual combiners themselves. And have these guys as feet and the other guys as arms or mix and match have one as an arm this guy as a leg and so on so you can do it however you want um i haven't messed around with that too much so i just thought i'd show you this is the kind of configuration i have plugged in the the guns for ravage and tranches either side there so just so you can see you know what they look like pinned on the side there and with this one in this formation on here um, so I think that's everything really um, I haven't got any of the combiner wars figures here to hand but obviously it's going to be the same same size as Superion or anyone like that all the joints on him work exactly the same um, there's no kind of issues with anything my original Superion I had an issue with pulling guys out of the arm here <laughs> and then that just opens up here so I guess that chest piece is a little bit loose in terms of how that all kind of plugs together so there is a risk that could come apart slightly I guess this bit here these on these ones I always find kind of comes open a little bit too easily if you're messing around with it um, so that's something just to keep an eye on the head rotates doesn't quite rotate all the way around, it rotates around back to about there before you then get any issues with it. Um, and the legs, absolutely fine. 
no problems there and I've stored the other gun on the back and then obviously you can have this as a weapon as well so you've got that as a gun so you can have them like that if you want to however you want to have them on display and then we'll just have a close up look at their head sculpt on there as you can see very gruesome looking um, but yeah, highly recommend this set. You know, if you can get hold of them for a decent price. For those going to roll out roll call, I'd imagine this sky will be available there with a bit of luck. But uh, very impressed with Sky. I'm a big Beast Wars fan, so they're going to pop him on display next to Magnaboss to see what he looks like alongside him. Um, that's it for now, guys. Really, um, hope you've enjoyed the review. Um, let me know if there's any other bits that you want to see with him, you know, bits swapped over and things like that. Um, and I'll try and post it on here for you. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.